Hi everyone, so I'm back with a Primark haul. I have a couple of bags um, of stuff that I have recently bought from Primark. I'm sure you are all aware that England is going back into lockdown. I actually went to Primark a few days ago now. Um, and I mainly went for some things for my youngest one. He's just been having like a massive growth spurt lately and all of his trousers and t-shirts and jumpers and things seem to be too small on him. So that is what I went for mainly, but I managed to just pick a few things up for myself as well. Um, so I thought I would just do this video just to show you guys what I've got really. It's not a lot, but I just thought I would share anyway. I thought you guys would be interested to see. Um, but can we just talk about how cute Primark's bags are? Like they're like a um like a candy stripe on, and it's, it actually says on the side this bag makes great wrapping paper. Um, I thought that was so cute. And then also, I don't know if you can see on the camera, it says here you can make your own gift tags and you can literally cut around these and use them as gift gift tags. I just thought that was a really, really nice idea. So anyway, I'm just going to move this one to one side and we shall start on this one first. So like I say, in here is mainly just things for my youngest son, but I will just show you anyway. So we just got him some, um, obviously, <laughs> some boxer short things. He was desperate for those. These other ones that he had were quite um, small, but that is a five pack of trunks and they are cotton and they were six pounds. So that was obviously a necessity. He did need those. All of this is a necessity. Like I say, he's grown so much and grown out all of his clothes. So I was desperate to go and get him some. So I picked up a few t-shirts. Now these Primark t-shirts are literally only £1.80 and I just think that is insane. Um, the tags on these do say eight to nine on some of them. My son is only seven. Um, but I feel like Primark sizing is so off lately. Like I picked up a seven to eight t-shirt, which is what I usually get. And it just looked absolutely tiny. So I did have to go for the eight to nine. And I have tried all of these on him and they do all fit. I'm just going to move the bag out the way so you can kind of get a better look at the stuff that I bought. So this was the t-shirt that I bought. It's just a black t-shirt. It's got legend wrote on with some just like colored squares and stuff. And it was one pound eight. You literally cannot be robbed for the price of the, the kids clothes in Primark. Um, so that was the first thing. The next one that I got again, I got, well, actually I got this one in age nine to 10. This is what I mean about the, the size and in Primark. Obviously he's not a nine to 10, he's seven year old, but the sizes of them are just really, really off, I feel. And like I say, I have obviously tried all the clothes on them and they do fit him. But this is just a black one um, and it's got Harlem, New York wrote on in this gorgeous kind of like speckly print. Um, and I just thought that was really, really nice just to go on with jeans, joggers, just things like that. So did I see the price of that one as well? Did I? That was £1.80 as well. I think all the t-shirts were one pound eighty. Actually, yeah, the way. Again, I got this one in at eight to nine, and this is a gorgeous. I kind of, I don't think it's like a solid red. I feel like it's like a ready orange color. And um, this just says West Coast Team California on. Again, just really nice. I mean, he always needs t-shirts and things, so got those. And then this next one, I love and he absolutely loves. He was like, mom, that's my favourite. <laughs> but I think this one is super cute for him. It's just a navy t-shirt and it has like loads of different paint splatters over. Again, this is in eight to nine and I think this was £1.80 as well. Oh no, this one was a little bit more expensive. This was £2.30. Um, but this one does say it was made using organic cotton. I'm not sure the other one said that. So even £2.30 for a t-shirt, I mean, guys, come on, you literally cannot be robbed. But that is that one. And I just thought that is super duper cute. And like I say, he absolutely loves that. He loves everything that I got. But this was his favourite, so he kept telling me. The next thing that I got is just um, like tracksuit bottoms and joggers for him because he's just going through a phase at the moment he will not wear jeans or smart pants or anything anymore and I just think it's since lockdown since we've been stuck in the house and obviously we are going into another lockdown even though the kids are still going to school um yeah so I just bought him joggers because I just think he feels more comfortable in them and when you're in the house like that's all you need um so I bought him these cute little army pants so they've got like the cuffed bottoms and they have like a nice drawstring waist they do have pockets in as well which is always good 
I picked these up in 7 to 8 and these were only £5.50 and I thought like they're actually like um soft fleecy type lined as well so they will keep him really really warm in the winter so I thought they were really nice and then what else did I get oh maybe so these are actually separates that I bought like I didn't buy this as a tracksuit I bought them as separates but they will work together I'm just kind of zipping the zip up so I picked up this hoodie for him so it's navy with a hood and it's grey like white zip down and it's just got no limits you can do this age seven eight and this was ten pound i just think this is absolutely gorgeous the material feels so so nice as well so i got that hoodie um like i say this is not a set but i just bought a pair of gray joggers as well so these are just like your plain standard joggers but they have kind of like a, a ribbed effect on the knees and cuffed bottoms and again a drawstring waist got these in age seven to eight and these were only seven pound like how cheap please so i bought them and they would go like really nice together you see because just oh god i'm trying to get this in frame obviously like gray and gray i just thought they would go nice together as like a, a tracksuit type thing so that was those as well things out of the bag and literally everything that i bought him from primark actually fits him and that never ever happens with me i always tend to have to retain something so i was absolutely over the moon that every single thing i bought him fits him i just couldn't believe it um i also bought him like this other pair of grey joggers but these are lighter than the previous ones that i've just shown these do have some kind of detailing down the side and they've got like a little logo thing on here again cuffed bottoms he does love the cuffed bottoms these have pockets in as well um and it just has like a little detail on the back there again drawstring waist these are slim fit because he is really tall like he's literally shooting up he's so tall but he's really really slim as well um again seven two eight and again these were only seven pound i just think that is so good so that was those ones i do love those and then the last two things I got for him, this is actually a full track suit. So this was bought together. So I will show you the pants first. Again, <laughs> everything that I've got is like grey or dark, but obviously he loves his grey joggers and things and he does feel really, really comfortable in them. So I'm going to buy him what he feels comfortable in. So I got him, again, these are slim fit as well. So this is the pattern on them. I absolutely love the design of them. Cuff bottoms again. These actually have like zip pockets, which is always great for kids. Um, no pockets on the back. Drawstring waist. What size did I get these in? So I got these in a bigger size, but again, they do fit him. That's what I'm saying. Primark sizes is so off, I feel. Um, but these pants were £8. Oops, my God. I'm just like throwing the camera everywhere. So yeah, those pants were £8 and to go with that, I'm just going to zip it up before I show you guys because obviously he has tried these on. So, And then I got the matching jacket. So it's got a hood on, which is always great for in the winter and it is actually like really soft fleecy lined in here as well. And again, it does have the same zipped pockets as the pants. So that is a full track suit. Um, how much was that? The top was 10 and obviously the pants were seven. So 17 pound for a full track suit. And like I say, it's fleecy lined. It's gonna be really, really warm for the winter. I don't think that is a bad price at all. Um, so that is everything I picked up for my youngest son. Um, I didn't get anything for my oldest purely because um, not that long ago we did do an online order for him um, we bought some things off Boohoo Man and he ended up getting quite a lot of things um, so that is why he didn't need anything this time and obviously it was just my youngest who needed it this time um, so let me get these ones put away and then I will show you what I bought for myself because everybody knows you can't go to Primark and not buy nothing for yourself. So let's move this bad boy over here. So first thing I got, I've heard everybody talking about these um, like leather coated jeans all over social media. 
um god i feel so out of breath i literally don't know what's wrong with this um these were 13 pound and i got them in a size 8 they do have a bit of stretch to them um they do fit me on the waist and everything um but the legs are a little bit baggy on me so as much as I love these and I've loved seeing everybody else in them, that's what made me want them so, so much. Um, I just don't feel like they suit me because the legs are a little bit baggy. And when I wear skinny jeans and things, I like them to be really tightly fitted to my legs. Um, so unfortunately, I am going to be returning those. Um, obviously, we are on lockdown, but the staff in Primark told me that I do have until the 31st of January to return. So I can just return those after the year. So that is those. And then I just picked up a standard pair of black jeans. These are the push-up mid-rise size 8 again. Um, these were these were only £10, like such a bargain for a nice pair of black jeans. Um, and let me tell you, these fit me absolutely spot on. Like they are so tight, they fit on the waist, they fit perfect on the legs. I just absolutely love them. And these jeans, like Primark jeans, kind of have a stretch to them, which I do really like. Um, I can't stand when I buy jeans and like they're so hard and stiff that you can't really move in them. So I do love those. Um, I've always been a fan of Primark jeans. I do really, really like them. So yeah, that was just a pair of black jeans that I picked up in a size 8 for £10. Um, and the rest of the things I got is just kind of like loungewear. Again, I am unfortunately out of work again because of lockdown. I can't work. Um, so... I'm not kind of going to get dressed up to sit in the house and things. So I've just bought some nice loungewear. Um, so I bought myself this cute little sweatshirt. And this says, always give good energy, which I really, really liked that quote on there. The font of it is lovely there. So it says, always give good energy. I got this in an extra small, which is a six to eight. And this was, this was only five pound. But I thought just in the house, like, sweatshirts are so good just to throw on over anything obviously winter's here it is kind of cold now as well and it is fleecy lined inside as well i thought for five pound like you literally cannot be robbed for that then oh my god i do not know what is wrong with me i am so out of breath lately and i just i don't know what it is um next up i got a hoodie um, I got this in an extra small. This was actually from the man's section and this was £8. And it is basically just a plain white hoodie. I've always wanted a white hoodie. I love my hoodies for the winter. I love to just kind of throw them on with jeans and things or leggings. Um, when I do the school run and stuff, I love to just throw a hoodie on underneath a coat and things. It's just easy on a morning to kind of... Do you know what I mean? Like winter time, you're not going to get dressed up to do the school run or I certainly don't anyway. So I love my hoodies and sweatshirts for things like that. It's just really, really easy. And then obviously when we are sat in the house in the winter time, it's so nice to just wrap up in a warm hoodie and feel cozy and Christmassy and oh, it's just, yeah. So that was £8. And then the last thing that I got in here is just a pair of really, really soft tracksuit bottoms so they have the cuffed bottoms i got these in a size small which is actually a 10 to 12 like i've never been a 10 to 12 in my life um but i have previously bought jogger bottoms from primark before and i got them in an extra small but when i washed them they shrunk so I thought instead of getting the extra small, I will just get the small this time and see how I get on with those. They are like a little bit big on the waist for me, but it does have a drawstring so I can kind of tighten that in. And then like I say, I'm thinking when I wash them, they are probably going to shrink. But how cute is this colour? I so wish that they had a hoodie to match this colour. Don't know how well you can see it on camera, but it is just like a soft, beautiful, like really pale green colour. And I just absolutely love it. Um, and these were only £5. I just thought for £5, just a pair of joggers for like lazing about in the house. Or just like, like I say, if you just kind of, well, we're not really going anywhere, are we? <laughs> I was going to say if you just kind of nip into your friend's house for a cup of coffee or something. Um, But yeah, I kind of just get my loungewear to literally like lounge around the house in it. It's just so much more comfortable than obviously sitting in jeans or sitting in like a dress or things like that, you know. So I always buy comfy clothes because... I would much prefer to be comfortable when I'm in the house. 
um, yeah, that is all I got from Primark. To be honest, I was a little bit disappointed. Um, I've seen people post hauls and things online and I was like, oh my God, like I need to go see what they've got in. But my Primark, mm, I just, it wasn't very good. I was a little bit disappointed. I wanted to go and I wanted to get like winter jumpers and things like that. And there's a gorgeous coat that people have been posting online from Primark that I wanted, but they just did not have it in my store at all. Um, so yeah, clothing wise for me, like wintery type clothes was a little bit disappointing in my local store, but it is what it is. And that is what I got. Like I say, I just thought I would share it with you guys. Um, and yeah, I hope you have enjoyed for everybody else in England at the moment and obviously everywhere in the world, because this is just going on worldwide. I hope you are all safe and well, um, us england peeps who were just locking down from thursday um obviously just know that you are not alone i know it is like a really really hard difficult time for everybody and god i've been through it myself like my anxiety has been absolutely through the roof um just know that you are not alone um and we will get through this we've done the lockdown before we came out of it so we are going to do it again you just have to kind of stay positive i know it is hard um but just try and stay positive and obviously still kind of speak and call and facetime friends and family and stuff just keep yourself talking to people that really does help a lot because i know when i'm really down in the dumps i kind of lock myself away and it is just it's not good at all so yeah it is good to talk um quick update on my dad as well because people have been messaging to ask um he is still in the hospital at the moment um he is i want to say he is okay um but he's not really eating or anything at the moment and he's losing a lot a lot a lot of weight um he is very frail at the moment and he does have some fractures which are stopping him from being mobile and his mobility and things has gone really really poor um so yeah obviously he is not going to be coming out anytime soon um which is actually heartbreaking um and it is his birthday this month god love him um so that that's another quite upsetting thing obviously we can't see him so he is literally alone there with no family um sometimes we can we can ring him but sometimes when we ring him he is quite confused and he he doesn't know where he is and things like that so just listening to that as being like his daughter is is really really hard and difficult to kind of get my head around um yeah like sometimes when i ring he doesn't actually know who i am um which again is another heartbreaking thing but he is in the best place at the moment um, and hopefully he will get all of the help that he needs. Um, but yeah, that that is the situation on that at the moment. We don't know how long he'll be in for. We kind of don't know anything. Um, and if I'm being honest, it's, it's quite hard to actually get an update from hospitals and things now um obviously they are styled off with covid and everything but sometimes it does become a little bit frustrating because he is in there alone and we just obviously as a family we want to know what's happening with him we want to know what kind of care he's going to be getting um and stuff like that so it it is difficult sometimes and obviously sometimes i do struggle like he is my dad and i've always been a daddy's girl um and then obviously seeing my sister upset as well and then seeing my mom upset it's just sometimes it does become too much but we have to stay strong and I feel like I kind of feel like I'm the backbone of the family a little bit which can be a little bit stressful and I don't know I just feel like people rely on me to be the tough one sometimes and sometimes I'm just not sometimes I need to just crumble sometimes I just need to cry and things like that but obviously like my mom is quite old now bless her and she's in the house alone and things so it's really like obviously as much as we're worrying for my dad I'm actually worrying for my mom as well so there is quite a lot of stuff going on at the moment um but we will get through it I will keep you guys updated and stuff 
and like I say I am off work at the moment the kids are still going to school so I'm going to kind of try and keep my time occupied by filming videos and things for you guys because it does help me it kind of stops my mind wandering and thinking all negative things and everything so if I have kind of a video to concentrate on that is better for me but yes enough rambling I am going to let you all go I hope you have enjoyed this whole video and if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and I will get back to you all as soon as I possibly can thank you so much for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next video bye